Hey everyone, welcome to the Entrepreneur Motivation Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Bello, and in this episode, I'm gonna be talking about thinking about where you want to go, like really aiming there, where you focus on, that's where you end up, right? And are you reading the right books and getting around the right people and taking the right courses and just doing the right things to get to where you wanna go? You, you gotta see who is it that you know that is where you wanna go. First step, I guess, define where do you wanna go. If you don't know, you're not gonna do anything, right? I think uh, there's an Alice in Wonderland quote, like if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there, because you're going nowhere. So you've gotta know where it is that you wanna go. Once you define that, maybe identify a few people who've been there, who've done that, who have achieved, who have achieved what it is that you want to achieve. And maybe, do they have courses? Do they have programs you can sign up for? Um, are you able to go to mastermind meetups or meetup groups in your area? and really get around those people and learn from them, be a fly on the wall, start to network, you know, become Facebook friends, follow people on LinkedIn, all that stuff, connect with people, genuinely connect and create relationships and then you'll start to learn, okay, that person uses this person for activity A, they use this service for activity B, and this is how their, their business is at this amazing level that I aspire to get to, and you learn from them, you implement, you copy things, I mean, look, you do it in a good way, right? So my real estate business, for example, and I know I'm sorry I keep talking about it, I don't wanna be boring and just talk about real estate all the time, but that's what I do, so I can kind of relate it to what I'm working on now for you, so just apply it to whatever business you're in. If you're not in real estate, if you're just in some sort of sales, or you're just marketing something, or even if you're in a corporate role right now, just kind of take it with a grain of salt, but with me, with real estate, my transaction coordinator, I was working with the top producing agent at my office and I found out who she was using for transaction coordinating help and that's the lady who does all my paperwork, follows up on deals, makes sure that you know the, the title company and everyone's got the documents that they need on time because it's a lot of little moving pieces and I'm not a detailed person. I may have told you, you may be able to tell by how hyper and fast I talk and how crazy I am that I don't really like details. I like to build relationships, make friends with people, post on social media, be there to like make all the promises and then she helps me deliver on them. And I found her from watching what this top agent did. I was like, okay, that top agent has grown her business insanely within five years of starting. I'm talking like making six, 700 grand a year in commission, that kind of business. And she's using this person. She trusts this person. She says she's amazing. So. I kind of emailed that transaction coordinator. Hey, do you have any capacity? Would I be able to use your services? I've seen what a great job you did on this other transaction that we helped with. Um, how can I How can I help, right? So I started using her. I use her on all my deals. She's helped free me up so much because I can simply send a text or email to her and say, hey, can you please write an offer for this address, for these buyers, here's the title company, this is the dollar amount, here's the closing date and please ask to include the fridge, washer, dryer on the non-realty addendum. And there are so many freaking papers and documents that have to be filled in and reviewed and all this stuff. And the beauty is like I can do that while I'm at the gym, take two minutes to do that. And she'll spend the next 30, 40 minutes filling in all the papers, send it back to me to review and get my clients to sign. So at least that way I don't have to fill in all the papers, right? So I got her and then there's a lender that I use who I recommend for a lot of my buyers. That's from another top agent. I saw he uses this guy. That guy never lets him down. Let me use that guy. And so that's what you can do. Just really get around the people who are winning, who are succeeding. Who are they using? What services are they using? What courses do they recommend? Do they offer courses? Are they proven mentors? That kind of thing. And you can shortcut success to an extent. And unfortunately, the shortcut is the work. I think I had an episode about this before too where Look, we're all looking for the shortcut. We all like the microwave mentality. I love the idea of being able to just be magically successful overnight. It's so frustrating. Sometimes I feel like I'm banging my freaking head against the wall and nothing's happening. I'm like, man, I tried this. I'm showing up every day. I'm creating content. Like I was doing that for months without any deals coming in, without any sign that it's gonna work. But 
consistency over time is what caused my phone to ring and people to DM me and people to send me emails and people to finally take me seriously and understand that I'm not going anywhere and I am gonna make a name for myself in this business that I kind of put my stake in the ground, right? So I'm a real estate agent, I'm a successful, those are affirmations of mine, I'm a successful real estate agent, I own multiple cash flowing properties. All those things I, I repeat every single day in my mind, I actually recorded it and I listened to it daily, sometimes a few times a day. And I'm embracing who I want to be. I am surrounding myself with people who are more successful than me, who have been in the industry for 20 or 30 years. I have a mastermind uh, book club call every Friday and on the call there are people who have 20 or 25 years of experience in their fields and they're all in real estate in my market. There's a lender, there's a guy who owns an inspection company, there's a guy who, he's been doing real estate 25 years in Houston, he lists million dollar homes like left and right, he refers out all the little stuff that he doesn't wanna deal with, and he's got repeat clients, he gets referrals. I showed one of his clients who was like relocating from France or something, he's looking for a $4,000 place a month to rent that his company was gonna pay for, like that kind of clientele that he has. And so I'm using who he uses and I'm checking out the training that he recommends. And that way I'm not kind of fumbling around trying to figure out, you know, what do I even do? I just ask them, hey, what, what do you recommend? I'm in this situation, here's what I'm dealing with, here's what I'm struggling with, what would you think is the best route for me right now? And I kind of take it all with a grain of salt because I know we're different generations, right? They may really push me cold calling people or calling people on the phone. Me and my millennial people like, dude, we don't answer the phone very much. Like, if it's not important, I'm not calling you back. If you didn't leave me a voicemail, I'm assuming it was spam, that kind of thing. And so I really aligned with like this other realtor that I mentioned at first with the transaction coordinator. She's closer to age, uh, she's closer to me in age than some of the people on my mastermind calls. And she does social media and open houses and she kills it. She gets a bunch of referral business. She said she never makes cold calls. And so that touched me and made me feel better because I'm like, hey, I don't wanna make cold calls. I don't wanna call random people that I don't know. I just wanna post content, share it, have attraction marketing where people come to me. They wanna work with me. I have an expert positioning because they approached me. So now when I follow up, it's not awkward because it's like, hey, you asked me for my help. I'm just trying to help you, right? So I'm positioning myself as the expert and I'm just, yeah, I'm learning so much. Little nuggets here and there and I don't even know if she knows, she probably knows by now that I'm also using her transaction coordinator, but sometimes it's just, you know, you say one thing, somebody says one thing, they might not even, they might even regret saying it because they're like, oh, that was too good of a nugget. Too late, I got it, I heard it, I wrote it down, I'm applying it ASAP. And you gotta be like that. You keep applying these little nuggets here and there, it's gonna snowball and you're gonna see the progress and that's how I've kind of gotten to where I am today and I, I don't consider myself successful. I still have the feelings of not being where I wanna be and I feel like that's life, right? We should never feel like we've made it because that's when, if you're not growing, you're dying type of thing. So I don't wanna feel like I made it, I don't wanna get cocky, but like people look up to me and they think that I'm killing it and I mean, I am compared to a lot of the people who started with me that aren't really, do, they're not taking action. They're kind of sitting there with their, you know, their hands in their pockets and twiddling their thumbs wondering why they're not getting business because they're not creating content, they're not making phone calls, they're not, I'm not really making a whole lot of phone calls either, but they're not doing Zoom calls, they're not doing Facebook Lives, right? All those things come together and your omnipresence is what really stands out. So. I know I was a little bit all over the place today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it or this podcast if you're listening on the podcast. Um, as always, please like, share, subscribe if you got some value out of this. It helps me so much to spread the good word, the good news, and the good word. I sound like I'm uh, spreading the Bible or like, you know, whatever my religion would be. The good word of Chris Bellow's podcast. Yes, please do share. Share the good news and the message. But yeah, I mean, I hope everyone's having a great week. We're, we're already in or September, I'm sorry, I was looking at my, my podcast dashboard, we're saying July, because that's when the podcast I'm listening to was released, but no, this is recorded as of September 2020, and yeah, we're already in September, the year has flown by. On my recent email message, I sent out the message to everyone with the meme, where the, you know the guy does like the little, like the blink where he's blinking like very quickly, as if he's shocked or offended or something. And I, I'd really love to see where that came from because it's just so funny to me. But it's got him where he blinks and then it, everything goes black. 
I don't know if that's supposed to be like the blackout square or maybe like it was just a blur and then it shows him opening his eyes again and the first square shows March then the middle is him blinking where it's black and then the end is where he opens his eyes and it's already September so I sent that out to my email list and I was like hey like where did 2020 go I know we've all been kind of stuck at home and tired of working from home and all that stuff but it's gone surprisingly fast, I think, maybe. I don't know, hindsight 2020. You know how it goes slow when you're in it, but then you look back and you're like, actually, that was kind of fast. I think that kind of happened to us this year in most cases. I don't know where I'm going with this, so I'm just gonna wrap it up right here, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Make sure to get that free guide if you haven't already, chrisbello.com slash free. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with that list or what kind of product I'm gonna create or whatever, but just get on the email list, you know, get that free guide. There's a lot of great nuggets on there if you just apply it, and uh, I'll figure out, you know, exactly what I wanna do with that email list and how I wanna connect with you guys, and uh, you can always send me a message on Instagram too. So shoot me a message on Instagram. I look forward to chatting with you guys soon. Peace.